Hello and welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily from Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today we shall be discussing why your catfish pond water turns brown. Yeah, I, I, I've seen some videos on it, just like the video I'm going to play. So you see, sometimes after feeding, you just notice like catfish water turns brown. And is there any implication of this brown color on your fishes? I'll be right back for us to discuss this in detail. Stay right there. So the water that I changed the uh, day before yesterday. So brown. Does it mean that I'm wasting food? Because I give them until they're okay. And I don't have any um, feed on the water when I finish the window. But I always notice that the next day the water will be so dry. Does it mean that I feed them too much? Welcome back. So this is Let Us Farm and all we do here is you know we'll try to teach ourselves the practical approach to fast to catfish farming. And remember whatever you hear from me here a practical things we do in the farm with proven results so if i try it it works i will tell you and give you all the details implications of whatever i do i do not say anything or do anything here just by assumption or imagination now remember we don't have any whatsapp group i won't ask you to pay money to join any group and if you are having any situation in your farm simply do a two to three minute video and send to me when you send me this video i would help you to solve your problems free of charge right now we're discussing why your catfish water turns brown color and is there any implications of this color okay just like the video you watched at the opening that i just played now um brown color in catfish farming is of two types there is the one we see on the etting pond and there is the one we see on our concrete tarpaulin and rubber ponds these are two different scenarios now the one on the etting pond could either be as a result of flood or as a result of mud or as a result of rainfall now in whichever of these three doesn't really have any serious problem on the fishes except when it stays so long in the pond what do i mean if it is as a result of rainfall within 24 hours the water is supposed to settle and then your normal pond color comes out if it doesn't settle it would have settled to a large extent within 24 hours and within the next another 24 hours you will see it clean clear now if it is as a result of mud this happens sometimes maybe you enter the pond or something enter the pond and naturally it's going to settle down but if it doesn't settle down that means there's a problem in the pond the resultant situation is that it may lead to your fishes feeling discomfort and to avoid this situation if you notice that it happened and nobody entered the pond rain did not fall so immediately your mind should tell you that something must have made that water to go like that if it's the fishes playing it won't just change the water color like that so for me my advice is when you see it say that you do flow through i'm talking of eating pond say that you do flow through allow water some clean water to enter and allow to some to go out or you can decide that oh when it happens sometimes it could be that the water level in that eating pond is going very low and the small disturbances from the fishes now made the color to change and could not revert back because it's low water in the pond so if you can do flow through fine if not what you do is look for alternative water source and pumping fresh water to the pond to boost the number the amount of water you have in the pond this when it relaxes settles everything will turn back to normal so that's for eating pond now on the other side we have for the concrete pond and for the tarpaulin pond now mainly when this happens in the concrete pond and in the tarpaulin pond there are some culprits to this sometimes it's a result of the type of feed you are using blue crown has a tendency of changing your water color to brown it has a high tendency it's a result of the things that they use in the feed preparation so it colors the pond like that now another thing that can cause this 
it's not just blue crown there are some other feet but i'm just giving you one that is very very common for you to, because you can always see it is blue crown then another incident that also changed the water color in um concrete tarpaulin rubber any other surface pond is when you overstock when you overstock your fishes if you just sometimes feed them or any small thing like this you can change the water in the morning by evening it's already dirty and yet there was you didn't allow feed to drop on the water it means that you overstocked so you have to like work on reducing you know excuse me uh, excuse me or the number of fishes you have in the pond that is when it's as a result of overstocking um situation now how do you actually know which is what is your problem and how to resolve it when it's on surface pond the easiest way for you to understand when it's a problem is this if it is as a result of feeding problem probably you are this kind of person that goes to the pond you broadcast the feed all around the pond so when you do that sometimes the fishes will not eat part of this fish and this feed and this feed will go down to the pond sink in the pond and then change the water color so if you are doing it try and desist from doing it but if you insist on doing it make sure that when you are spreading the feed everywhere do not scatter it like that scatter it meaningfully scatter it timely so that you can enable your fishes to go to each spot and eat look do not be in a rush to feed your fishes take it easy if you want to achieve results in fish farming you have to wear patient as a cloth me i always advise spot feeding any day anytime because with spot feeding you hardly have these incidences but when you insist on doing the one you want to do try and curtail your running too fast slow it down so that you can be able to you know achieve success in the feeding that you are giving your your catfishes <clears throat> So this is number one then number two sometimes when you are not doing that that's when you don't have fish uh, your feed on top of the water that means you don't leave the feed on top of the water then that is where you now suspect the issue of overstocking even sometimes when you look at the water color you see that it's thick you overstocked and what happens is that the release from their waste is what is changing that water color when it is overstocked and not the feed issue now the implications of all these things i have said will boil down to one thing it boils down to the negative health of your fishes meaning that your catfishes can actually start dying because of situations like this be it in the eating pond be it in the concrete pond and be it on the rubber tanks so whenever you see situations like this it may not be an immediate problem but it's a problem that you need to avert to avoid future problems of that we may lead to the death of the fishes for instance if it is the feed that gets dissolved in the water and pollutes the water leaving those fishes to stay long in that water will contaminate the water for them and this will lead to them having infection that can lead to death in fact, it can also lead to a situation that you have your, your fishes having swollen stomach because it may lead to the infection that is going to affect their gallbladder through the water that enters inside them. So the situation can, you know, it can degenerate to another thing if not tackled on time. Now, I don't like a situation when you hear things like this. The first thing that comes to your mind is, hey, what treatment am I going to use? I don't believe in that. I've said it time with that number. Issue about treatment is that Anytime you are giving your fishes treatment, understand that you are weakening their immune system, making it impossible for them to find, fight small, small sicknesses that come to them. So it's always a thing of choice for you to decide whichever way you want to do. Now I'm going to do another video on implications of drug use in catfish farm so that I can be able to explain because many people every minute they look for drug. It's not the best. So like I was saying, even on eating pond if it was dirty water that flowed in as a result of flood and it doesn't settle down the best thing you will do is after two days you notice that this water doesn't settle down for me i would advise you to pump it out and pump in clean water it goes within 24 hours it's supposed to settle down if there is no constant rain but when it doesn't settle it means that something is wrong somewhere pump it out before it infects pump it out before it infects your fishes be very very mindful of the water where your fishes are living in this can actually make or mar your fishes because when the water is dirty it can lead to contamination contamination can lead to your fishes being sick either from infections both internal or external and this can lead to massive deaths on your, on your fishes 
in some case scenarios they may not die but they will not grow so both of them are still negative parameters for you to achieve good results now is there anything i have said so far that you don't understand or is there anything you want me to talk about kindly use the comment section and if you're having any problem like i said simply do a video and send to me when i look at this video i will be able to solve this your problem free of charge until i come your way next time my name is emily from noel Oge of let us farm keep farming it's a way of life.